Hello, this is Double A with another WWE Supercard video for the date of Sunday, October 23rd. Um, today we're going to to complete Road to Glory and collect John Cena. I have pretty much one game left in a sense. But before we go into that, if it's been forever since I've done one of these videos for you, life's been kind of unstable. Um, I did a video that only 10 of you saw. Uh, then afterwards I decided, well pretty much something changed where I felt I would have been hypocritical by, by the after effects. So I deleted it and essentially going to go into that or a part of that later on the video. So stay tuned for that. It's a public service announcement in a sense. Stay tuned for that. Um, with this video, with, with Road to Glory, I've had a great pull that I'm pretty happy about. Early within the, if you follow me on Twitter, you've seen me post this, but went ahead and got, not went ahead, but pulled a Charlotte, second diva, along with the, the team event a week or so ago. So that's made me happy. Um, in addition to which, if you also follow me on Twitter, you'll see that I've collected my fusion and got a Sami Zayn. Another fusion in the chamber that is due to come out in 20 hours. So hopefully we'll see what we get. Hopefully we get another Zane to do my first SummerSlam Fusion Pro. But any card that I get would definitely be beneficial to the overall deck as a whole. Hopefully I get a nice Asuka with that. But like I said, we'll see. Do a video about that. But now we're going to get down to the business's hand. First, we're going to go into a bit of a history real quick here. Um, season one, going to take you back in time. For those of you who played in season one, you may remember that it was just People's Champions Challenge, and there was an update that occurred that brought us Road to Glory. Now, first thing that we, first card that we came across that we fought for was Sting. Pretty much these flew, these flowed like water, like crazy. I mean, basically, if you had a, a halfway decent deck. You got Sting. Also with Road to Glory, you basically, nowadays while you have a PCC one week, Road to Glory the next, or Ring Domination one week, and Road to Glory the next where you get the two cards to combine to do the pro, back then you you competed for both cards Road to Glory aspect. So, and also with the People's Champions Challenge, you competed, if you got the top rank, you won two cards that got your pro. With the very first Road to Glory, though, Sting was the first one. And like I said, if you had a halfway decent deck, this card just kind of flew out there like water because it was pretty pretty simple, pretty easy. It's, I think, I think more people got Sting than anything. Then they redid the matchmaking, brought us to, I think, the second one. Second one was, I believe, Bad News Barrett. Um, with this, um, they had to redo the stats up the speed but they also update up graded the difficulty on it so the ease in which people got sting in the first one that wasn't happening with the second one so you pretty much had to fight you pretty much had to claw you pretty much had to scratch to get both cards so at this time i really wasn't playing that seriously i mean i was but not really so i really didn't think to go for the second card besides my deck wasn't that strong enough to go for it and then later on, they introduced John Cena and Roman Reigns. I'm not sure exactly in that order, but those are the cards that occurred. Um, still the same difficulty. I really didn't go with the full throttle for it. So the only one that I had of the Survivor Ring Lord of Glory cards was Sting. Fusions occurred, stronger cards came out, which necessitated to bump up to a WrestleMania Road to Glory, in which top card was Bret Hart and with this one like the Sting card pretty much this card flew out like crazy because like I said if you had a halfway decent deck you got the card then they did they redid the matchmaking and brought us to this one this is pretty much the lead into what we're going to be talking about today the Triple H card at this time I had the Bret Hart my deck was still kind of still kind of whatever Later on in the Road to Glory tier, essentially, you got, if the 
first one was hard to get by. The second one, they made it a bit easier at first. Then you hit the wall again. I think the same with Triple H, but I'm not sure. But with this one, at this time with season one, I had more time on my hands. I had more flexibility. Life wasn't as hectic. And basically, I was able... People will ask, people will put decks on the Facebook group saying how far you could get with this. My answer to them is always, you only get as far as you're willing and able to get with the deck that you're going with. With Triple H though, I did pretty much two pointers all the way from, I wanna to say towards the beginning, all the way through the second card to the end. And I tell you, it was grueling. It was just, I want this to be over. Because once you commit yourself, you're committed. There's no mid, there's no saying to yourself midway in, you know, I'm not going to do this anymore. No, you keep trudging forward. You keep pushing forward. And at the end, you got two, you got two cards. Make the pro with this Triple H card. It definitely changed a lot of things in my favor because it allowed me to move a little bit more into WrestleMania tier, allowed me to do better in seasons, and allowed me to get more WrestleMania cards to power my deck. So as future Road to Glories occurred, it made it a lot easier to get through them and not hit the wall as soon as it did. I mean, basically it went from more tens down to less sixes, down to less twos, to basically more tens, Less sixes, no two. And I'm talking about in terms of getting the pack doublers uh, to basically just doing tens all the way through. So that's what the Road to Glory and the People's Champions Challenge does is get, well, at that time, allowed you to strengthen your deck so that you didn't have the headache of having to do plus twos all the time. Now we're in season two. Um, things have changed. Um, you do, like I said before, you do one in one event, one in the other with this with the John Cena one, I was lucky enough to get the John Cena card in ring domination to then be able to go for the John Cena card in this week's Road to Glory. Now, the thing is, when I started, when I got into this, I wanted the Cena card, uh, but I got about 80 points into the rock before I started hitting that, hitting that wall kind of. Now at this time, and this is where the public service announcement kicks in, while I was, I basically retired from Supercard for a bit. Completely got away from WrestleMania tier. The only WrestleMania, to bring it up to speed, the only WrestleMania cards I had up to SummerSlam tier were the earlier team events. I had an Andre the Giant from the first event, just to say I did a WrestleMania card, but most of my cards were, rest, were team events. Till basically I decided to just step away and get away from Supercard for a bit got into my NBA 2K16 heavily and started playing that. Summer Sam tier came around. I got pulled back. I got drawn back into it. So then I was playing both. However, it had an effect on health in a sense because as I'm playing both games heavily, I started getting like, I want to say like carpal tunnel or things of that nature, just getting pain in the thumb area, the arm area, the upper arm area. And pretty much I had did a video and I was pretty much going to step away for about a week or two and chuck this out the water till I saw a video from Super Zone Barbecue with his SummerSlam progress in the John Cena. And it's like, is it that easy? Is it going to be that wonderful to get through it? He said, yes. And I'm figuring, you know, I'm going to stretch out. I'm going to take care of the arm a little bit. I'm going to do what it takes. I mean, I still might take a break, ice it down a bit more, but if you're ever playing a game for any length of time, you want to give yourself some, some relief. Like if you play your games on a monitor, you're going to get eye strain. You're going to want to get from your, away from your monitor for a bit. With this, with all the times I'm playing, it kind of caught up health-wise. So I'm like, if it's going to take that much to get through Cena, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop right now. I said after seeing the video, seeing how kind of easy it was, I decided to trudge forward. I got through the rock, got through a few 10-pointers, started changing down to sixes, got into Cena, was able to do a couple of plus sixes, and then started getting to plus twos. At this point, I was kind of, I was committed to it. I wanted the Cena. So I did plus twos 
from about the 30 to 40 point mark, give or take, all the way up to where we're at right now. And at this point, I'm begging for a Team PCC tomorrow because our team hates Team PCC and won't really play it. So if I can get a break from that, I'm more the throw to that. I could take a break. I could go into my Cena at Leisure and get him pro out for my first SummerSlam event card. So <clears throat> that brings us to now where we're going to get in here. Um, initially, I had a couple of... I had a couple of couple of my pros here SummerSlam wise the Brock Lesnar the Xavier Woods I had to dumb my deck down to what it is now just with a better ease with that we're gonna get in here hit play gonna buy myself a title real quick because I know I'm gonna blow through this collect the Cena be on my way so With the length of time this video and my device decides that it wants to keep it because there have been times that i've done videos where where after i've done it the program doesn't really tell you that i'm getting full to it essentially and i use mobile as a great program if you're doing mobile because i don't have all the fancy toys and and computer things of that nature well, I do have a fancy computer but I don't have the fancy toys that has the face on the screen with the game screen and the and the graphics on there eventually I might get that if I have the money if I have the time but let's see here but yeah I've been looking forward to making this video all day all weekend I'm, this is Sunday the last day Typically, prior to stepping away from the game, if I ever got into Road to Glory, then I would typically be done by Friday. Because doing plus 10, you can kind of blow through everything pretty easily. And usually my weekends are super full. And this past Saturday, it really got full because introduced into the schedule that I had pretty much no anticipation of. So I'm thinking, okay, I could break the playing down over like three or f like in a three or four hour time frame, get it out the way, but schedule did not allow that. So pretty much I had to spin last night up a bit, trying to get as far as possible before calling a night before I pretty much had to go to sleep. And that brings me to today, to where I'm able to finish out Road to Glory with basically two hours or so to spare. I'm not sure I'm going to stat Cena yet, but with that, with that nine to five victory, we're going to collect the Cena, finish Road to Glory, and just say, this stuff is finally over. Finally over. Got the John Cena. Let's get our picks real quick. Hopefully I don't pull a WrestleMania card during this guy title match, even though it just ended it. But there we go. We're finished with the Road to Glory with, let me see here, two hours, 22 minutes left to spare. So all I got to say right now is, like I said before, I'm done. Finally. <laughs> finally, finally, finally done two pointings. So, so that is going to be it for me today. Like I said earlier, um, keep an eye on your health. If you feel like your game is affecting you, step away for a bit. Do some stretches. Do some do some ergonomic stuff. Get your body well because your, your health is more important than your gaming. That's all I got to say. That's all I'm gonna leave you with today. Um, drop me a like, drop me a subscribe. If you if you follow me on Twitter, you can notice a little bit more activity from me in terms of things that I like, things that I put on my Twitter page. Cause I'm like, most of the time I view on my phone, I don't automatically hit the like button. I'm gonna get into that habit a bit more because it's because it, it's kind of unfair for me to say, hey, throw a like on me if I'm not liking videos myself. So you're gonna see a little bit more of that on my Twitter feed. I also believe in exposure. It's always been my mission statement to 
grant exposure out there to people, to groups, to organizations, so that they're as long as they're as long as they're not doing anything legal and stuff. It's like if any amount of exposure is a good thing. So I also want to thank McDiddy, Preston Divine, who are mentioning me on his latest video. Um, he started doing supercard videos as well. So give him a look. See, um, you can find him on uh, McDiddy, M-C-D-I-D-D-Y. Subscribe to him. Good guy to know. Um, I'm sure you'll like his videos. I'm liking his supercard videos so far. I'm looking forward to seeing more. So now officially, that's going to be it for me today. See you next time. So long from ringside. Goodbye, everybody.